Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna give you a tour of the master bedroom. So I'm actually standing right in front of the door here. I'm gonna show you what the bedroom looks like so far. We pretty much brought all of the furniture from our old home and thankfully the layout of the room was very similar so everything fit beautifully. Upstairs we still have carpet and we're gonna work on that in a later project. But another thing I wanted to show you were these curtains that I am super proud of. I'm gonna show you how I recreated pinch pleat curtains for literally a fraction of the price. Come on and look. Okay, so this is our master bedroom and everything in here, almost everything in here was from our old room so we had the bed we had the two nightstands and we had the dresser we also had this little bench in our bathroom but the bathroom in this room is a little smaller so we decided to put it at the foot of the bed so let me take you guys through and show you really quickly kind of what we're working with here so this carpet um was original to the house <laughs> and it's got some areas that are really stained so eventually we would love to switch out the carpet and put laminate wood flooring just like we have downstairs this bed we purchased from wayfair so this is one of our splurges from our old house it actually was not that expensive i think it was like two thousand dollars so when you compare it to restoration hardware where the couches are like seven thousand dollars <laughs> it is a little bit more affordable um but it is expensive for a bed it's got like a linen fabric and it's kind of like in an oatmeal off-white color um, but the bed is, you literally use it every single night and that definitely was one of our proudest investments where our happiest investments, we enjoy the comfort of this bed every single day. There's nothing like a good night's sleep. So sorry, my, my shoes are kind of squeaky. So if you're some squeaks, it's the shoes. The mattress we got from Costco and then we got this wonderful foam topper, which I'll break down in another video for you guys, but that really gives us like cloud-like sleep. So the two nightstands are actually a chest of drawers and this is the Hemnes, um set from Ikea and it's in the color like brown gray. And what we did was I just switched out the hardware for gold hardware and it really gave it more of an elevated look looks a little less like ikea <laughs> and a little more like you know something custom so we, like i said we've got the dresser right here the tv we still have to mount um and then i have just some light decor that goes on top of there um right when you walk in to the right i decided to put our full length mirror and this table was in our old house we had two armchairs at the foot of the bed with the little table in the middle but because this room is a little narrower this dimension um, i didn't want to clog the walkway with two kind of bulky chairs so we just have the bench right there for now and then this is an ottoman that came with our sectional <laughs> which is why it's kind of like a makeshift chair but probably that's gonna go and we'll have either some type of round seating chair right there or like a little chaise something to do some light reading um so yeah so i just ended up putting these two cute little pots hey um just for some decor and this will probably be my selfie station in the future Okay, moving over here. This bench is really awesome. This is from Wayfair. It's got kind of a similar um, fabric pattern as the bed. And the two um, lamps are from Amazon, but they're a little bit dark for my taste. They're just functioning for now, but eventually we are going to change them out. The curtains, this is like the highlight, which I'm going to go into a little bit later, but um, these are curtains actually from Ikea. The rod is from Amazon and I created the pinch pleat pattern myself, which is like where you see like the little pinch right here and it, they fall like that. We did it ourselves. I still have to steam the curtains and train, train the curtains. Um, so that will be coming up soon. And then this is just that little ottoman that I told you, the same color and fabric as the couch downstairs. This is a standing lamp. It's got like a chandelier, um, what is that lampshade but uh it's misplaced right now i think it's in the garage so moving on this is the master bathroom 
And this master bathroom is a little narrower than our old one, about the same size, uh, except the other one had a, a little tiny vanity in the middle. Um, so we've been trying to rearrange how we organize our stuff, um, but just super builder grade, nothing special about this bathroom. It is comfy though, it does have a tub and a shower, so um, we're really happy about that. Hey, I used to love filming in my old bathroom and now I don't know what I'm gonna do because there's really not a lot of room and there's only one little tiny window. Um, so we'll see what I figure out. The shower, very standard, and the toilet, very standard. And then this is the master closet. It's seriously such a mess right now, you guys, so I'm not gonna take you through the whole thing. We just shoved all of the boxes in here <laughs> when his family came and that's pretty much what it looks like. I still have clothes in bags, so yeah. Don't worry about that. So yeah, that's the tour of the master. We get a beautiful view from these windows as well, but I'm just waiting. I keep the blinds closed until we can have the curtains hung up and I'll probably put some shears just for a little bit of privacy because I feel like people can see. And <laughs> the neighbor's window is literally right there. So before we had these curtains up, I had a wall of like flattened boxes right here just to try to give a little more privacy. You walk out from the bathroom and you're going to change and literally people can see you. So um, we love that this room gets a lot of natural light, uh, but we, you know, you definitely have to figure out some type of privacy situation. Okay, so let me show you guys the details about the curtains now. All right, so now that you guys have seen a tour of the bedroom, I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory about these curtains, and then I'm going to rewind to last weekend when we installed them. It actually hasn't even been a week, it's been just a few days. So, uh, when I was looking for curtains, I did very extensive research. I was watching YouTube videos. I was looking at, you know, what different influencers and home decor experts had to say. And I really liked the look of having the pinch pleat and having the curtains on hooks with the rail because pulling the curtains when, they, when they're not on easy slide hooks can be kind of challenging and then you worry each time that you're gonna be yanking out the screws or weakening the screws that are holding your curtain rod in place. That was one of the main challenges for us in our previous home especially since I feel like the bedroom curtains are the ones that get moved the most because you kind of want to make it a little darker for sleep. You want to block out some of the sunlight. You want to close the curtains for privacy. There's a lot of reasons why you want to close curtains in the bedroom. Whereas downstairs, maybe you don't always want to close the curtains downstairs. Maybe they're just for show, like in the dining room. We don't really, they don't move around too much. Do you see what I'm saying? So it was important to me to have these curtains look really good and be easy to function. I guess you could say easy to slide, easy to close. I found these curtain panels that someone recommended, but they were $200 a panel. So a panel is just like the one piece of fabric. So like this curtain right here, let me show you on the side. This one guy, this is one panel, one curtain panel. And granted it was a little bit thicker, but the one curtain panel was $200, I think, plus maybe like 250 if you wanted to get the black outliner and it was pinch pleat. So I was like, oh my God, how many panels are we getting? One, two, three, four, five, six, like just for the master bedroom, <laughs> easily thousands of dollars worth of curtains. So I was doing more research and I went on TikTok and I was trying to just find different curtain inspo, pinch pleat curtain inspo. And I found out that you can get these curtains from Ikea I'm gonna show you. This is the one that we settled on for the bedroom. This is the Ritva curtain and pretty much comes in like, I think two colors, white and some other color, which I was kind of concerned of doing white on white because downstairs my curtains are white on white, but screw it. I was like, I'm not gonna get too picky. Really, we just need curtains because this window, as you can see, look into the neighbor's window and there's no privacy whatsoever there. So um, we got these curtain panels. The curtain panels are $40 for a set of two. So each panel is $20 when compared to $200. And they already have the little string, like pinch pleat, I guess, pattern in the back. So you can pinch them or pleat them yourself essentially is built in. Some of them don't have that little thing and you have to sew it in and it gets a little complicated. So this was literally the easiest thing. You buy the curtain panels, you buy the pinch pleat hooks. 
that's these guys. You create the pinch pleat and then you literally just get the curtain and you hang them on the rods like this. Boom, boom, boom. This is attached to the curtain and you hang them and they look gorgeous. So the second that we hung them up, I knew that we had made the right decision. And what I ended up doing was getting two panels. This is a pretty big window, so I have two panels on each side of the window. We actually purchased a third set because I thought that maybe, I didn't know, you know, when you pinch them, the curtain becomes skinnier because the fabric is bunched up. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna need three on each side. One of the videos that I saw did have three on each side. So we bought a, three packs three pairs, I guess you can say, to have enough for three curtains on each side, but we ended up only needing two. Two panels on each side is plenty, and it gives us the thickness that it, you know we were going for and the look that we were going for. So they are so gorgeous. They look so much more expensive than they really are. And the curtains in total for this window were $80 as opposed to like $400 for just the curtains. <laughs> Um, the rod we also got from Amazon, it's a matte black and they've got the really small end caps so they're really modern, sleek, elegant. The only downside about these curtains is that they are light filtering curtains which means it's not blackout so when I close this curtain, light still comes through and it kind of sucks a little bit on the weekend when I'm trying to sleep in or the afternoon sun comes in really strong through this window so over the weekend I came in here to try to take a nap and I was like oh my god the sun is coming in so strong even if I close the curtains the sun still comes in so these are really just for privacy I am also going to get some shears some pre-made pinch pleat shears from Amazon just so that I can close it if I want like less light during the day or just you know to not have the neighbors have a look at us when we're changing. And eventually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a roll down blind um, for this window and it's gonna be blackout so that way at night if I want to black out the room, it'll be electric and then just whoop, whoop. But I just don't like the look of the traditional blinds. I don't think anyone really thinks the traditional blinds are beautiful. Functional, yes, of course, but are they nice to look at? Not really, no. Um, the other two windows on the side of the bed did have the blinds built in, which was wonderful, but for some reason, the big window did not come with blinds. If we had the blinds, I would just leave them up there, and then when I want it to be darker, I'll pull them down, but because we don't have the blinds built in, I'm just gonna get the automatic roll-down blind for this window, and then there you have it. I mean, this is our home home. It's not an apartment, it's not a rental, which we're so happy about so I can make these investments happily knowing we're gonna be here for years and I'm gonna be using you know these these things that I bought on the daily so yes this window will be decked out we'll have the roll down and then the curtains on the side will be more for just like aesthetics and giving the room presence another thing that I will say let me move over here so you can kind of see so another thing that I have to say about this is that Adding the curtains really just gave the ceiling height. When we first came in, so in our, I believe the ceilings are eight feet in this home. In our previous home, it was a brand new builder home, and I guess like a new thing that they're incorporating is they give you nine foot high ceilings. So it really feels spacious when you walk into a room. These ceilings are not as high. Granted, they're not super low either, but they're not as high. and. Adding this curtain rod and these long curtains really did make the room feel bigger. And I'm not one to, I've seen so many videos where people say you should hang it all the way up to the ceiling and it'll make it really tall or make the room appear bigger or the window appear bigger. I always saw those and was like, you know what, I'm not really like about that. I don't really care for that. And I kind of like the rod a little bit closer to the window. In this case, the IKEA curtains only came in a couple of lengths, and so we had to choose the 98 inch length. All my other curtains downstairs are 96 inches. So for the 98 inch length, plus you, we gave a little wiggle room because the hook hangs down a little bit from the rod. So we end up hanging these about three inches higher than we hang or have hung all of our other curtains. I'm not gonna lie, I love it. It looks so good. I, I really see what people are talking about now. I was happy not having it too close to the ceiling, but then it also is far enough distance away from the window to give that illusion of height and dimension. So I'm really excited. 
I'm happy to, we, we <laughs> made a lot of purchases. We bought like these chairs for the breakfast nook. So when it came time to purchasing the curtains, we said, we're just gonna get the curtains for this one window for now. Um, and then next month we'll continue on. But because we had that extra pair of curtain panels that we didn't need for the side windows, now we're gonna use that one for one of the windows on the side of our bed, and then we'll just have to buy one more set for the other one. So I'm really, really happy. The next thing and final touch to make these curtains really look expensive and custom is gonna to be to steam them and train them. So I've never done this before. I've never trained a curtain. I've never had pinch pleat, but essentially you steam them to get all the wrinkles out, and then you create the folds the way you want them, and you put painter's tape or some kind of tie, and you leave them like that for about like a few days, like maybe four days. And when you take them off, it's created like essentially a, a crease, like an iron crease in the curtain and then they hang like that. So that's gonna be the next thing that I'm up to. Maybe today I'll get around to ironing them and creating that pinch pleat. Mm -hmm. 